Dear people watching and listening, Assalamu Alaikum. Kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please support my channel by contributing to my Patreon account so that I can continue making the audiobook series. Tipu Sultan, who was the ruler of the Kingdom of Mysore in South India, during his reign used to write down his dreams. They were penned down by Tipu himself in Persian language dating from 1785 to 1798. The penned down dreams are 37 in total. After the fall of Seringapatam in 1799, the manuscript was discovered by Lieutenant Colonel William Kirkpatrick after a thorough search of his bedchamber during the ransack of Tipu's palace. The manuscript was so well hidden that even Tipu Sultan's confidant Munshi Habibullah had never seen it before. The letters have been translated into English by Dr. Mahmoud Hussain, former Minister of Education and Professor of History in the University of Karachi, Pakistan. Dream 20 The Thief On the 29th of the month Jafari of the year Shad 1223, from the birth of Muhammad corresponding to the 28th of Muharram on Thursday, Early in the morning I had a dream. It seemed as if I had said my morning prayers with a large congregation, after which all of us had remained seated. Sayyid Ali Qazi and Abdul Rahman Malvi proposed to the gathering to have a three-lettered khatam. In the same sitting, for according to them, there was great virtue attached to it. I accepted the proposal. They said 100 people should participate in the recital. I expressed my willingness to join, but I told them that I could not remain seated for long hours, and therefore a hundred persons should be chosen excluding myself, though I would also associate myself with it. They chose the persons accordingly and began with the letter M. When the khatam commenced, I found myself among the participants. Apart from those persons who were taking part in the khatam, Others were seated on one side and were taking food. When I was going for my prayers along with other men and had crossed the curlwood, I came across a black and bulky marhata with an empty tray in his hand. As soon as I saw him, I drew out my dagger and asked him who he was. He told me that he was Dhonduji's servant and house steward and that he had brought gold and silver for me. As he entreated me to accept the present, and generously distributed to whomsoever I liked. I asked him to wait till I had finished my prayers, after which I said I would talk to him. He was thus sitting when, on the conclusion of the prayers, Ulam Ali came and submitted that this particular person was an intruder who had entered his house. I asked him to be careful, for this man seemed to be a great thief who might run away with his horse and I asked the unbeliever to surrender the things he had brought to the Sarkare Khudadat, and I made him understand that if I freed a person like him, many people would be ruined. In the meantime, rain came in torrents and I woke up. End of Dream 20